Hello, Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, coming to you, coming to you live every day to help you survive these trying times. We're here for you on the Archie Luxury Channel. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto Channel. Today I'm doing paid review 20 JU79. JU79, 20 JU79. Quick, 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 with watch check. I'm wearing a Patek Philippe 5127G, white gold, Calatrava. Absolutely love this wristwatch. Can I flip it? Can I flip it? Can I flip it? Can I flip it? You tell me, man. I'm the one singing the tune. This is from Dan. Hey, Arch, I just sent you 20 bucks for a bit of advice. I've got another question for you. I see that my local pre-owned dealer is selling a Breitling Avenger Chronograph Titanium 44mm blue dial E1, it should be A, A, I think it's an A, it's not an E, is it? It's an, anyhow, 13360, 1500 bucks plus tax. I see them going on chrono for 24 to 27. Do you think the juice is worth the squeeze to try and flip it? If I sell it on eBay, they take 13.5% cut. I should clear about 400 bucks, 450 bucks. Do you think the juice is worth the squeeze? Regards, Dan, 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 the man. I got to be totally honest with you, Dan. Dan, 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 Dan. I got to tell, tell you, tell, 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 tell you. No, don't, don't go there. It's a dumb thing. Breitling is very soft. We're in COVID-19. I'd be very careful. If you think you can flip it for money, you've got to be careful. This is an ugly watch. It's very ugly. And I got to be totally honest with you. Um, it's just uh, a stupid idea. This is how people buy this garbage. They buy this garbage because you're trying to make it for money, man. Fools go where angels fear to tread. Now, he updated this on the 27th. He said, I feel I should further clarify this. I have not bought this piece yet. My bottom line to you is, is should I attempt to buy this with the intention of selling slash flipping it? What is your advice for people who are interested in flipping watches? What have you learned in the years of experience in the marketplace? I think this is an interesting topic and would love to hear your thoughts. Number one, if you're going to buy a watch for a flip, there's nothing wrong with money. I'm a capitalist. In fact, I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. That's right, guys. I'm actually a millionaire. That's Australian dollars, not US. So <clears throat> I'm I'm a millionaire. And I got to tell you something, guys. I'll do anything for a buck. I will deliver pizza. I will do Uber. I will do anything for money. I'm a prostitute. Now, guys, I've worked at Blue Velvet. I've done all the dumb things. I've done all the gigs. It's been very profitable. Now, let me explain. Let me explain to you the way it works. Buying and selling. Hmm. You've got to be careful what you buy. In the watch world, there are certain brands that are toxic sludge, and there are good brands. The good brands sell themselves, and the toxic sludge is very hard to pass. Now, I gotta be honest with you, Rolex, Rolex is the best brand. Paddock, certain paddocks are good, but they're hard because they're so expensive and you can you can get hurt. <laughs> so, you know, it's interesting. Breitling, Tudor, what do I think of them? Well, I gotta be totally honest with you. I would say, I'll give you some advice here. Let me give you five pointers. Number one, buy only the iconic models. If it was a Breitling Navi timer, maybe. A, this model here, i got to be completely honest with you. What is this, an Avenger? It's f ugly. It's ugly, ugly. So if you're going to do something for a flip, try and stick to the iconic models. Number two, number two is I would try and uh, buying from a dealer is never a good thing because if he could get more, he would. So he's a professional. So don't ever think you can outbeat the market. What gives you special powers over this dealer? See, if you're buying it from someone at work who lost their job or they've suddenly got COVID, maybe. But buying from a dealer, very hard sell in that regards there. Number three, number three, I would generally say to you, with Breitling, you want to get it half, if it's brand new, half of retail. That's how bad it is. I got a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. 
42 mil, and uh, it was slightly above half. That's how bad they depreciate. Very, very bad. Number four, my fourth bit of advice to you is, it's got to be a watch. If it doesn't sell, you're happy to keep. There's no point buying something and then you, you just bought it solely for a flip. It's got to be something that you don't mind. What I've done is over the years, I tend to buy things that I don't mind being stuck with. Six identical Pateks! I quite like the Patek Calatrava. I like them. I like them a lot. So I don't mind being stuck with a few of them at some times. But a Breitling Avenger, I don't know if I really want to be stuck with that eyesore of a watch. So that's, that's a real big problem because they are kind of fuggly. They are Buggly, you know, you've got to find the right punter. Whereas, you know, if you was something that you liked and said, you know, I'll take a punt. If it doesn't sell, I'll hold on to it. And I got to tell you, this market we're in now is very trying, very trying. I uh, I went into business with Scotty. Scotty actually bought this Calatrava and uh, he paid 18,900 Aussie dollars. And what happened was he bought it and we were going to flip it. I was going to advertise it. He's going to pay me half the profit. He was going to get half the profit. And you know what, guys? I didn't get any inquiries. I added a massive margin because I ain't, I ain't a charity. I ain't no communist. I'm a free enterprise, wheeling capitalist. And you know how many inquiries I've had? Less, not that many. I had some guy in Thailand who wanted to pay half, fix the rest up when COVID was was fixed. We had different currency deals. It was a disaster. I don't want half payment. I want full payment, okay? That just doesn't gel with me because I don't want to be stuck selling it at, when the currency, it's just a disaster. So that was that deal. Then I had someone who wanted to do a swap. Ah, it was a disaster. So I got to be honest with you, it's been pretty lean. Now, this watch here, before COVID, I had people queuing up for a Calatrava in white gold. The buyers can so you've got to say, hey, I don't mind riding out the storm. You will always sell something, <clears throat> and if it doesn't sell, it's probably too highly priced. You need to drop your price. This is a commercial transaction, so it should really sell. So my advice is, if you're going to buy something for a punt, make sure you're happy to live with it. Because if you're not, it just grinds, grinds, and then you lose moolah. The fifth bit of advice is, don't put it on a credit card. Don't put it on a credit card. Don't take this punt. If you're going to finance it on a credit card, sell it and make the profit. Now, what can happen is I can tell you now, I've done it myself. I've been stupid. I've been stupid many times. I pay for it on credit card and then, you know what happens? It doesn't sell and I end up clearing it and I did make money, but at the interest rate, it kind of ain't any profit. That's correct. So my best advice to you is I wouldn't necessarily do it unless you like the watch and you're happy to live with it. The Avenger is ugly. It is really ugly. I think it's one of Breitling's ugliest lines. Would I buy it for a profit as a flip? Would I do it to flip it? Not really. I, I'm sorry, man. La, uh, uh, this, is not, this is Dan. Dan the man. I'm kind of sorry, man. I wouldn't be doing it as a flip. I think... Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I'd rather buy a Rolex. I'd rather buy Rolex. I'd rather buy Rolex for a flip. You could buy Rolex, you know, good Rolex, and then you could, you know, that's what I'd be doing, like a Milgauss. I'd rather buy that because it's a Rolex. When you buy these unsavory brands, ah, uh, what are you going to do? Breitling, it's got an ETA movement. It's as ugly as, uh, it's just hard, man. I wouldn't do it. If it was a mill gal, she said, hey, I'll take a punt on a rollie. But it's not. It's not. My uncle, auntie had balls, should be my uncle. So I got to tell you, I probably wouldn't do it. I'd be careful. We're in very tough times. And the, the market itself, things are selling, but it's, it is tough. And you don't want to be stuck 
with a piece of kit on a credit card. That's probably the best way I could emphasize this. But if it's a watch you really like, you don't mind being stuck with it, you can have a play with it. Well, that's kind of cool. That is very cool. I would would seriously just say, don't be a smart ass and think you can beat the dealer. It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. I wish it was, but it ain't, especially with rookies. Newbies and rookies, the brands I would try and be very, very careful with are Jager LaCoultre, Panerai, Breitling, and uh, I gotta tell you, any Tudor that's non-Black Bay, I'd be very careful of. That's kinda, you know, you don't wanna touch things like long jeans, that's garbage. You don't wanna touch Breguet, unless it's really, really cheap. Be careful, be careful. I like newbies come in and they think it's a bargain, but uh, hey, just be careful because you could be fleeced, fleeced completely. Instead of buying some dog shitty watch, why don't you buy a Rolex for a flip? That's a, a better way. So there you go, that's my advice. Tell me what you think. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends, put some negative comments or positive, and remember guys, I can't survive on Google Ads, I need paid reviews. Paid reviews keep me full time on YouTube, paid reviews, 50 US dollars, I'll review your collection, I'll tell you what I think, and I'll tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, I'll tell you straight up, and I'll be truthful with you, and if you've made a mistake, I'm man enough to tell you, you made a mistake. So, damn the man. I probably wouldn't buy it. That's my advice. That's my advice, guys. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. I got to <laughs> Keep going. Uh. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Archie Luxury. I'm the method actor who plays Paul Pluta, uh, Satan Deville. Um, I play a number of characters on the Archie Luxury and the Archie Luxury Corporate and the Paul Pluta channel. Guys, I want to talk to you about weight loss. Weight loss. I don't know if you've noticed in the last uh, couple of weeks there, but there's been a steady decline in my weight. And I got to tell you, the Archie Luxury Weight Loss Program, I've rebooted that thing there more than a bad server with Windows NT on it. Guys, I want to talk to you about weight loss and I want to be completely honest and serious with you. I've got a new technology and it's going to, it's going to help you lose the pounds. Archie Luxury, this is the new, new, new secret information, Tapeworm 2000. That's correct, Tapeworm 2000.
Hi guys, Archie Luxury, new sponsor on the channel, App Stanchi 8. Help get the most of your engineering and DevOps with App Stanchi 8. App Stanchi 8 provides on demand DevOps infrastructure, test automation, and continuous integration as a service with a focus on mentoring and hiring assistance to help engineering teams scale. They are experts in Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and the latest open source utilities to help your company save time and money. Cost reduction in your hosting bills alone will pay for itself. In addition, the team is 100% onshore, New York City-based senior engineers. Abstantiate will help you get most productivity out of your current stack and or employee headcount. Email hello at abstantiate.com. Please email now hello at abstantiate.com for more information. Archie Luxury proudly supporting fantastic businesses. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Archie Luxury corporate live streaming channel to be updated on all the live shows I do. Live shows! <laughs>